Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, welcome to the change of command of the 337th Engineer Battalion. At this time, we would like to recognize and welcome our special guests and dignitaries. Colonel Brad Pearson, the 55th Commander, Command Sergeant Major Evan Melendez, uh, Command Sergeant Major, 55th, uh, 55th Command Sergeant Major, Colonel uh, Francis Montgomery, Command Sergeant Major Ryan Booz, Sergeant Major Jeffrey Cunigal, retired Colonel Angelo Catalino, retired Lieutenant Colonel Pat Pellegrino, retired Lieutenant Colonel Bill Krasinski. Also like to welcome uh, Lieutenant Colonel Feltz's uh, wife and kids, wife Cindy and children Alyssa and Aaron. Uh, Major Wolf's wife, Kelly, children, Alora, Ryan, Adriana, Caleb, Brian, Adelina, Nicholas, Aaron, Carter, and granddaughter, Amara. I am Major Speciale, and I'll be the master of ceremonies for today's event. Throughout the ceremony, you'll be given cues to rise and to be seated at appropriate times. On behalf of Colonel Brad Pearson, the 55th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade Commander, welcome to the 337th Engineer Battalion Change of Command Ceremony. During today's ceremony, Major Justin Wolf will assume command of the 337th from Lieutenant Colonel John Feltz. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the evocation by Chaplain Sims and the playing of the national anthem. Good afternoon. Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day and the constant care you give us. Please guide us as we continue serving our country to defend our freedoms. God, as you know, leadership is always needed to successfully accomplish tomorrow's mission. And as life moves forward, leadership opportunities arise so the next soldier can rise to the occasion. Today represents an important transfer of leadership and command authority from Lieutenant Colonel Feltz to Major Wolf. May you grant them favor during this transition in their new leadership roles. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Throughout history, military organizations have conducted ceremonies to commemorate victory over the enemy, to honor comrades in arms, and celebrate special occasions such as the change of command. These ceremonies have added pride to the military organization while preserving tradition and stimulating the spirit of corpse. 
A change in the change of command ceremony is a military tradition that allows the unit members the opportunity to witness the formal transfer of total authority, responsibility, and leadership from the outgoing commander to the incoming commander. Today's change of command ceremony marks the turning of a new page in the War Cross Battalion's history book. The 337th Engineer Battalion traces its origins to the Scranton City Guards and Battalion of the Pennsylvania Army National Guard, which was constituted and organized in 14 August, 1877. Over the course of the next 138 years, the 337th went through several transitions. The 337th started as infantrymen, transitioned to Armor Battalion in the 1990s, and completed its current transition to the Engineer Battalion in 2014. The battalion's lineage has activated its soldiers for combat in World War I, World War II, the Korean War, and the War on Terror in Iraq and Afghanistan. The battalion has activated nearly 20 times in the past 10 years for state active duty and placed on orders to support the presidential inaugurations, the Papal visit, and the national special security events. The 337th Battalion is currently a modular engineer battalion, which consists of a horizontal engineer company, a vertical engineer company, a chem chemical decontamination company, a forward support company, and a headquarters company. The 337th Engineer Battalion is a key asset available to the governor and the Commonwealth to respond to various homeland security and natural disasters and other emergency contingencies. At this time, Mrs. Cindy Feltz, the wife of Lieutenant Colonel John Feltz, is being presented with a bouquet of red flowers. In appreciation for her dedicated service to the battalion, the red roses signify the bonds of loyalty and affection with the soldiers and signify our sorrow at her departure. A bouquet of yellow flowers is being presented to Mrs. Kelly Wolf. The flowers, the yellow roses represent a new friendship and a welcoming her to the command. At this time, we will conduct the change of command. One of the oldest military traditions is the passing of the unit colors, symbolizing the transfer of the command and authority from the outgoing commander to the new co commander, which we will witness here today. Key to the ceremony is the passing of the unit colors. These colors represent not only the lineage and honors of the unit, but also a cohesive unity of all of its personnel. The colors are not only the commander's symbol of authority, but are a visual rep representation of the responsibilities to the organization. Wherever the commander is located, so too are the colors. The custodian of the colors is the command sergeant major, who is the senior enlisted soldier of the command and the principal advisor to the commander. The command sergeant major first passes the colors to the outgoing commander. Then the outgoing commander passes the colors to the brigade commander, signifying his end of command. The brigade commander then passes the colors to the incoming commander, signifying his assumption of command. The incoming commander passes the colors to the command sergeant major. By the authority of the Army Regulation 600-20, the underside assumes command of the 337th Engineer Battalion, signed Major Promotable Justin M. Wolf, Engineer, Commanding. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like to welcome Colonel Brad Kirsten to the podium. <clears throat> I'd just like to welcome everybody to the 337th change of command. It's an honor really to be here. 
it's uh, super to see the, the participation from the family members, friends, and uh, all the soldiers of the 337th. Um, this is a very dynamic and diverse organization, one that can be very challenging to lead uh, with the chemical company and the signal company that supports it. So uh, this is extremely challenging uh, battalion to lead. And John, you've done an outstanding job. I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate everything you have done to continue to move this uh, battalion forward. You've definitely placed it in uh, exceptional hands for Justin coming in. The uh, selection of command, especially at the battalion level, does not come easy, right? It's not done rapidly. It's a lot of thought and, and processes put into who gets selected to be a battalion commander and be uh, in charge of an organization such as diverse and as dynamic as this one. Uh, we clearly made the right choice with you, John. I couldn't be more happy with the, 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 the products and, and the, uh, the, the status and the, and the situation of the battalion at this time. I'm extremely confident as we also made an, another great decision with Justin coming in. I look forward to your leadership across this battalion. I look forward to, to working with you and continue to move this great battalion forward. So that's all I have. I said thank everybody for coming. I really appreciate the, this section over here. It's great to see all the family members and the support that comes in across the formation. So thank you. Uh, thanks for everything you do, John, and welcome here, Justin. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing as Colonel Pearson presents the Meritorious Service Medal to Lieutenant Colonel John C. Feltz. Attention to orders. Attention to orders. The President of the United States has awarded the Meritorious Service Medal to Lieutenant Colonel John C. Feltz for meritorious performance as the 337th Engineer Battalion Commander. Lieutenant Colonel John Feltz's infectious enthusiasm, attitude, and exceptional execution set the example for consistent mission accomplishment of his battalion. He selflessly conducted his duties in accordance with the Army values, putting the needs of the unit and soldiers above his own, representing the core of our Army culture. He applied tactical and technical expertise while exercising sound judgment in fulfilling battalion and brigade requirements. His superior contributions and outstanding performance of duties are in keeping with the finest traditions of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself, the 337th Engineer Battalion, the 55th MEB, the 28th ID, and the Pennsylvania Army National Guard. Signed, 1 June 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. At this time, I would like to welcome Lieutenant Colonel John Feltz to the podium. All right, All right. Uh, thank you, Colonel Pearson. Thank you for your, uh, your kind remarks. I'd also uh, just like to thank all the distinguished guests that, that, that made their way here for this uh, presentation, for this uh, change of command. It's, it's truly an honor to have so many great engineers uh, and, and uh, great engineers in the, in the house today. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, soldiers of the 337th Engineer Battalion. Thank you all for uh, being here to take, take time out of your busy schedules to be part of this event. Uh, today, today is a bittersweet day. I, I am grateful for the time that I had as a commander of this great organization, but also a little sad that I had to give up uh, what has been by far the best job I've ever had in, in the Army. I would uh, first like to thank both the brigade and division leadership for giving me this opportunity to lead the formation for the last three years, uh, from Major General uh, McCormack to Wegschneider and uh, Brigadier, Brigadier General Pippi to uh, Colonel Pearson. Both the command and their staff have been nothing but supportive of everything we've, we've accomplished over this, this time. I'd like to recognize the previous battalion commanders and thank them also for their hard work and positive impact they've had on this battalion. Uh, Colonel Catalano, uh, the 337th Brigade Engineer Battalion, uh, and of course, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Pasquale Pellegrino. I'd like to thank them also. 
I'd like to thank my friends and family for making the the, fort, the, the trip up the Fort Union Town Gap to mark this special day. It, it really means a lot to me for you guys to take your, some time out of your out of your busy schedules to come on up here. I know it's a it's a little bit of a drive, and, and thank you for spending Saturday with me. I would like to thank uh, I'd like to thank my um, lastly I'd like to thank my uh, my family, my mother Kathleen, wife Cindy, uh, children Alyssa and Aaron. Uh, a position like this requires a lot of time in the uniform and uh, a little more time in the uniform and it calls for you know some some extra meetings uh, some late nights a lot of phone calls and uh, just 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 general you know some time that I have to balance with the family so uh, you guys have been nothing but all in and uh, I just thank you for it and I, I love you all I've been privileged to be the commander of this great battalion for the last three years in that time, we've mobilized and deployed the 228th Engineer Vertical Construction Company to the CENTCOM area of operations. We did this by combining soldiers and leaders from the 252 Engineer Company from Johnstown and the 228th uh, Engineer Company, forming a versatile and highly experienced super company, capable of performing multiple projects in support of Operation Spartan Shield and Inherit Resolve. Uh, during their deployment, the unit was spread out between five countries, completed over 58 projects, many of which were high high visibility on the CENTCOM commander's top priority list. Of the numerous engineer companies in the region, the theater engineer commander regarded the 228 as one of the top companies under his umbrella. Noting their versatility, reputation, and my favorite, always getting the job done under any circumstances. At the 228th return home, we mobilized and deployed the 192nd firefighting detachment, which after yesterday, I have a whole new sense of appreciation. Uh, we, we, we deployed them to locations in, in Bulgaria and Romania in support of Operation Atlantic Resolve, an operation de designed to deter Russian aggression against in Europe against our, uh, for our NATO, NATO allies. Uh, if you're doing the timeline in your head, this was right around the time that the invasion of uh, Ukraine by Russia. So just as there was an influx of NATO troops into those uh, those locations along NATO borders, the fighter fighters were right alongside them, uh, ensuring uh, fire protection at these locations that they were assigned. Uh, for their excellence, they were de they were awarded uh, the t detachment of the year, the ICOM Europe Fire Department of the Year. It was a, it was a really high uh, high honor that they got. Although the Engineer Battalion was formed over a decade ago, its recent formation as a construction-focused battalion is quite new. Initiated by the previous commander, battalion commander, uh, the battalion executed a culminating exercise at Fort Drum, New York in 2023. For the first time, all six companies simultaneously mustered, relocated from their home stations and executed multiple collective exercises in a, as a cohesive battalion. Uh, from six locations scattered across the Commonwealth, the battalion moved to Fort Drum, a base located 81 miles north of Syracuse, New York. In total, 141 vehicles, many towing flatbeds and trailers with construction vehicles safely completed a long distance convoy. Some units traveling over 400 miles and its shortest traveling 215 miles. Although it was a long day with, few, with a, quite a few vehicle breakdowns, we worked together as a team, resolved the issues and completed the mission. Once at drum, we quickly transitioned to the field. The engineers conducted austere basing operations. Uh, they created a logistics base from a raw 50 acre plot of land. Leveraging on their experiences overseas, the senior soldiers began transferring some of that expertise to the newly received junior soldiers. With limited resources, working as a collective effort, the 228 and the 252 engineers established an impressive logistics base. Equipped with a 360 force protection obstacles and berms, logistical storage areas, entry exit points, structures to house personnel. It was truly a tes testament to the engineer motto, SAONS, which means let us try. The 128th Chemical Company set up multiple training lanes. Utilizing the recon platoon, they performed numerous missions simulating, detecting, and reporting chemical threats in the area. The unit culminated their training with the vehicle de decontamination lane, which ended with battalion leadership getting a visit to the gas chamber. It was pretty cool. It was an awesome event, and I personally took satisfaction in seeing the unit bond and take pride in executing the exercise. 
Also while Fort Drum, the unit completed Crow's gunnery qualification, a vehicle mounted weapon system in which the gunner engages targets remotely while seated inside the vehicle. This was significant not only because it was the first time the, the battalion completed this, but it was also the first time the 55th Maneuver Enhancement Brigade completed this task. Five crews, three crews from HHC and two from the CAM completed numerous gunnery tables or tasks to receive their certification. Over a six month period, these crews learned how to remain, how to maintain their vehicles, mount their weapons, and effectively communicate as a team to engage, safely engage targets. The, cer the certification culminates with day and night light fire with crews engaging targets both moving and static along a two mile course. Assisting in all of these efforts was the HHC, the FSC, and the 213 Signal Company. None of these accomplishments over the past three years would, have happened, would not have happened without the planning and execution of the staff, the real life support of the FSC, and the retrain support that we received from the 213. When I started this journey three years ago, uh, I made three promises to the battalion. I said, uh, we're go we will make mistakes as a team, we will fix those issues as a team, and we will continuously improve as a team. As a commander, the biggest impact I can have is on the culture of the organization. I was, I was blessed. I inherited the organization with great culture from the leaders that came before me. Lieutenant Colonel Catalano, Lieutenant Colonel Rogers, and, and of course, Lieutenant Colonel Pellegrino. And I am blessed to be handing over this battalion to another great leader, Major Justin Wolf. I've known Justin for over 20 years and have had the honor of working with him on division staff. Our paths crisscrossed as we were both deployed as junior officers in support of Iraqi freedom. He is the right leader for the job. Justin has the expertise, the judgment, and the temperament to take this battalion forward as it prepares for a whole new set of challenges, both domestic and abroad. As I close out, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every soldier in the 337th, both now and previous years. None of these accomplishments would have happened without ever, the hard work and dedication of everybody in this formation. As I said a year ago at Hawkwatch, I'm a child of the 80s, and as I was growing up, the Army had a commercial, and the commercial was, be all that you can be. And the theme of that message was, uh, if you wanted to be challenged, join the Army. And I truly believe in the heart of every per person standing in this formation that the reason why you join the Army is for two reasons. You love your country and you want to, you want to be challenged. I thank you all for, for being part of this organization and being part of the Army National Guard. It's truly been a, an honor and a pleasure being your commander. God bless and thank the, and God bless the U.S. Army, God bless the 337th Engineers, and God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, on behalf of the 337th Engineer Battalion, Lieutenant Yukanich will present Lieutenant Colonel Feltz with a Hammer Impact Award with a battalion coin on one side and a plate on the other side with our, noting our gratitude for your dedication to the 337th Engineer Battalion. Thank you. I'll treasure this all. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you for the first time the 337th Engineer Battalion Commander, Major Justin Wolf. All right, uh, Colonel Pearson said to keep it under a half hour, so I think I should be able to handle that. Um, Colonel Pearson, distinguished guests, fellow soldiers, families, and friends. Good afternoon, and it is with great honor and a deep sense of responsibility that I stand here before you as the incoming camp commander of the 337th. I am both humbled and privileged to assume this role and to lead such a dis distinguished group of men and women. This battalion has an incredible history and I look forward to being able to add to the legacy that you guys have already created. First and foremost, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our outgoing commander, Lieutenant Colonel Phelps. Our careers as officers, as you stated, started together when we went to, attended OCS together. And your leadership has set a high standard for excellence 
along the way. Your unwavering dedication to this profession has profoundly impacted this battalion and our friendship. The successes and the achievements we celebrate today are a testament to your hard work, a vision, and commitment. So on behalf of the entire battalion, I thank you for your service and wish you the very best in your future endeavors. I would also like to express my sincere thanks to our Brigade Commander, Colonel Pearson, for entrusting me with this significant responsibility. Your confidence in my abilities is both hum humbling and motivating. I'm committed to living up to the trust you have placed with, with me and, and continuing the legacy of the excellence of the 5-5 Brigade. As I step into this role, I'm aware of, of the significant responsibility that it comes with. Our battalion has a proud history and tradition of excellence, and I'm committed to upholding that. I had the honor of experiencing this excellence when I served as the executive officer and administrative officer for this battalion not too long ago. I was there when we, we converted and transitioned from the BSDB to the BEB, and then next year later, right to the, the engineer battalion that, we, that stands before us. We will face many challenges, but as those challenges come, with those challenges come with opportunities for growth, innovation, and success. I'm confident that together we will achieve these great things. My vision for this battalion is rooted in a few key principles. First is leadership and accountability. I believe in leading by example and holding ourselves accountable to the highest standards of conduct and performance. Each one of you is a leader in your own respect. And I will rely on your expertise, your initiative, your integrity to help guide the path forward for this battalion. And it doesn't matter what rank you are, from the command sergeant major, the whole way down to the new private, you all bring something to this, this formation that the active component will never experience. The second is training and readiness. Our ability to execute our mission depends on our preparedness. We will continue to prioritize rigorous training, build off the training that you guys have already conducted, as Colonel Feltz mentioned up at Fort Drum. We'll continue to maintain our readiness to ensure that uh, we are able to continue to improve and provide adaptability to whatever mission is, is thrown at us. The third is teamwork and cohesion. We are stronger together by fostering an environment of mutual respect, trust, and collaboration we will build a cohesive team that can overcome any obstacle, any deployment, any mission. And the, final, the fourth is our care for our soldiers and their families. The well-being of our soldiers and their families is paramount. We will ensure, ensure that support systems are in place to address the needs of our soldiers both on and off duty. If you can't tell, I have a very large family, so family is very important to me. So now that not only are you guys part of my family, your families are as well. So we'll ensure that everyone is, is cared for. I thank you, the soldiers of this battalion. Your dedication, hard work, and commitment is what makes the 3-7th three, three the greatest battalion that's here. And I, I will stand by that. I've been here before. I've been around uh, many other battalions. I'm honored to serve alongside you. And I promise to give my best every day to support and to lead you. Most importantly, though, I would I'd be doing a disservice if I did not thank my wife, Kelly, my kids, my parents, my friends, and my family. It's the sacrifices that you made, the patience that you've shown, and the encouragement that you've provided that has been invaluable. I could not have reached this point without you, and I'm greatly deep, deeply grateful for everything that you have done for me. This goes for the same for my parents, my family, my brothers, sisters, my friends, my family that are here. In closing, Lieutenant Colonel Feltz and the previous commanders, we honor your service and the legacy that you've created with this battalion. Colonel Pearson, thank you again for this incredible opportunity. I will do my utmost to lead this battalion with honor and distinction. So thank you all to the soldiers. Fight through. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Army song and the benediction.
right, let's pray. God, I thank you for the opportunity to witness and bless the leadership exchange between Lieutenant Colonel Felt and Major Wolf. I ask you to not only bless them as individuals, but their families and friends who uphold them in support and community. May you give them insight, wisdom, and courage to fulfill their duties and service to our country. In Jesus' name, amen. The men and women of the 337th Engineer Battalion are proud to have served with Lieutenant Colonel Feltz and wish him and his family every success in their future endeavors. We also congratulate Major Promotable Wolf and his family as he assumes the duties as the commander of the War Cross Battalion. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. On behalf of the men and women of the battalion, thank you for attending. Friends, family, and special guests, please join us for refreshments in the back room. Have a great day.